I rise in opposition to this amendment. Uh, first, this amendment would strike the funding cap for family planning and reproductive health programs and replace it with a floor that is, in, that is $114 million higher. But I want to make something very, very clear right now. The criticism from our colleagues, the Democratic colleagues, that this bill hurts women, children, and global health progress is absolutely misplaced and just false. This bill fully funds at the fiscal year 23 enacted levels, uh, HIV and AIDS, and maternal and child health programs. Fully funds. It actually increases funding for malaria, nutrition, and orphans, and vulnerable children, and the Vulnerable Children Directive. But let's be clear, this administration has demonstrated a really, really concerning willingness to, shall I say, push the envelope with regards to abiding by statutory restrictions on funding for partners and activities related to abortion internationally. A ceiling on family planning and productive and uh, reproductive health, a ceiling on that funding, frankly, will allow for strong oversight of such funds to ensure other and to fund other funding priorities. Second point I want to make. The amendment restores funding for the UN Population Fund. The UN Population Fund. This, this organization is at best an unaccountable bureaucracy that has a track record of funding controversial programs, notably, by the way, this is a theme, notably in communist China, and that do not align with core American values and which, frankly, actively, actively undermines U.S. interest. Now, as I already stated, this bill maintains critical bilateral global health funding and statements, and any statements, I would say, that suggest otherwise are just not accurate. Finally, this amendment strikes language that would ensure that no taxpayer funds are provided to any foreign non-government organizations uh, implementing global health assistance that promotes or performs abortions. The Biden administration, as I alluded, the Biden administration has demonstrated over and over its amazing propensity to find and fund organizations abroad with radical, extreme, and pro-abortion agendas. And frankly, we just can't allow that to continue to go unchecked. This bill adds the necessary constraints to rein, rein in the Biden administration's controversial or radical agenda. So I would urge, strongly urge, our colleagues to vote no on this amendment. Madam Chairman, I yield back.